Hi everyone! Today, we're going to learn about the theories of language origin. According to Hackett, 1958, language is the most valuable single possession of human being. What is language, by the way? Language is simple, a tool that we use to communicate with each other. It may be written forms such as text, or it may be spoken word, and sometimes sign or gesture. Now, let's discuss some theories of language origin. First, we have the echoic, which is also called Bow Wow Theory. Language imitates sounds in nature. According to this theory, language began when our ancestors started imitating the natural sounds around them. The first speech was onomatopoeic, marked by echoic words such as moo, meow, splash, cuckoo, and bang. However, relative few words are onomatopoeic. And this word vary from one language to another. For instance, a dog's bark is heard as ao ao in Philippines, ham ham in Albania, and wang wang in China. In addition, many onomatopoeic words are of recent origin, and not all are derived from natural sound. Next, we have interjectional or the poo poo theory. Language arose from instinctive emotional cries. Speech comes from automatic vocal response to pain, fear, surprise, and other emotions such as love, shred, or gasp. However, no language contains very many interjections and Crystal points out the clicks in takes of breath and other noises which are used in this way bear little relationship to the vowels and consonants found in phonology. We also have the nativistic or the what we call ding dong theory. Words are inherent with what they describe. This theory, favored by Plato and Pythagoras, maintains that speech arose in response to the essential qualities of objects in the environment made were supposedly in harm with the world around them. However, apart from some rare instances of sound symbolism, there is no persuasive evidence in any language of innate connection between sound and meaning. Next, we have the Jasper Sands hypothesis or the woo-woo theory. Language arises from sounds of courtship. Some call it Lala theory. Jasper Sands suggested that language may develop from sound associated with love, play, and especially song. But what's wrong with this theory? As David Crystal notes in How Language Works, Penguin 2005, this theory still fails to account for the gap between emotional and rational aspect of speech expression. Now let's go to labor or the yo hey ho theory. Language arose from noises made by people engaged in joint efforts. According to this theory, language evolved from grunts, groans, and snort evoked by heavy physical labor. But though this notion may account for some of rhythmic features of the language, it doesn't go very far in explaining where words come from. Now let's have the oral gesture or the choo-choo theory. Language result from people making gestures with their mouth. For example, saying ta-ta is like waving goodbye with your tongue. But most of these things we talk about do not have characteristic gestures associated with them, much less gestures you can imitate with the tongue or mouth. Where really language originated? As a Christian, we believe that God is the one who created language. It proves in the story that can be found in Genesis 11 verses 1 to 8. The story of the Tower of Babel. In Genesis 11 verse 7, it says, Come, let us go down and therefore confuse their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. This is the reason why there are a lot of language all over the world. This is true and biblical origin of language. As we learn more about language, let us rely our wisdom in God and let Him be the one who will teach us about these things. God bless us all and thank you for watching. Bye!